And this week we've met some dogs with some pretty important careers, helping children, sniffing out dangerous drugs, finding missing people. But this morning, we'll introduce you to a four pack of pooches that have a job that you might just want for yourself. Hanging out all day at Four Hands Brewery. Here's our Abby Larico. Full bodied, sweet, perfectly bubbly, but not very well balanced. The four pups at Four Hands are the toast of the brewery. This is Winkley. When he gets here, he loves playing with the dogs. Gracie's pretty crazy. Griffey is a hand holder, for sure. Juno's still a brand new puppy, but she's a lover. Pretty early on, I knew my interview had, as they say, gone to the dogs. Griffey's like, I'm out. <laughs> the job itself is pretty chill. It helps for out. You can call it brewery support. So it's, it's nice just to have a little bit of a breather and kind of calm down and chill out with the dogs and they brighten everybody's day up. None of the booze hounds are of legal drinking age, not even in dog years. They're all pretty young, so it's kind of a rambunctious wrestling group. Their kisses and drool are a secret ingredient in Four Hands Brews. Well, indirectly, of course. I feel like it just fits our personality. You know, we're just the personality of the people around us and the city around us, and the dogs kind of fit that. Don't worry, they stay away from the brewery equipment. They do run the bar sometimes, though. Usually yeah, they'll pass out on the floor next to each other. They're a sampling of what makes the local brewery so special. Well, I feel like the dogs are a part of everyone's family here. Because sometimes snuggles <laughs> are just the kind of refreshment they need. You know, with everybody pitching in and loving them, having, you know, being around and everything like that, it kind of works out. Yeah. Oh, right? My gosh, they're right? so cute. I know, I just oh. you can't not smile with a yeah. like that. So the brewery dogs, though, don't, of course, actually help make the beer directly, nor do they sample it. Of course, a lot of us have snuck our dogs a sip of beer while we're enjoying one ourselves, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I thought that was fine, but here's actually what I learned. And this is why this right here is the first and last video you'll ever see of Mia having a beer. This is a citywide, by the way. So a dog's kidneys can't actually process alcohol. The hops in beer are bad for them. Wine's not a better option, though, because grapes are even more poisonous. Huh. Your pup could even have alcohol poisoning if they have slow movement, low body temperature, blood pressure, heavy breathing, and they may or may not get sick, so you might not even realize it's happening. I thought it was funny. I took a video of it. Yeah. But here's the thing. You realize it's actually kind of serious and something you don't want to mess with, um, especially even if you just give them a couple sips mm -hmm. here and there. Mm -hmm. It can be bad for their kidneys. Yeah. And so, so don't do it. Don't do it. Wow. That's the last time I will ever give me a, yeah. a, a drink of beer. I even. remember the mm -hmm. movie Turner and Hooch with uh, Tom Hanks. They would always give the dog beer. That's what the dog liked to drink. And, you know, at that time, you're thinking, oh, that's kind of funny. That's fun. Give it's it to our dog. It's become like a pop wow. culture thing that it's mm -hmm. dogs like beer, but yeah. not really. They shouldn't. Um, local, uh, there's a local company, though, that actually makes treats out of some of the leftover stuff from uh, beer making. So though. give them that so, instead. Yeah. Exactly. Perfect. Thank you, Abby.